this episode, I give you a very unique and easy way to prepare the slide for pollen study. How to study the pollens, how to prepare the pollen slides and how these are microphotographs. The pollenology is the scientific study of pollen. Pollens are the male part of the anther and anther is a male part of anthracia. There are basically four steps to study the pollen. The first step is the collection of the flower from the field. Here it is our second step to separate the anther from the flowers and put these anther on a glass slide. Then you have to put a drop of acetic acid. Acetic acid is basically used to clear the pollen surface. After putting the drop of acetic acid, you can crush the anther by using the rod. After crushing the uh, anther, you can separate the debris or the waste material of the flowers. You can easily remove these by using the needle. After this, you have to uh, put a slide for a few minutes, then it becomes dried and the acetic acid evaporate. After drying these slides, you can drop a glycine jelly. Glycine jelly is basically the stain that is used to stain the pollen. Glycine jelly is a stain that is prepared by four chemicals, that is the gelatin, uh, phenol crystal, uh, distal water and glycerol. By putting a drop of glycerine jelly, you have to place the cover slip on the slide in order to equally and uniformly spread the this stand to all the pollens. Now this is the prepared slide uh, by the flowers of Centoria ibrica, that is Centoria calcitrepa, which belong to family Compostiar estresi. Now it is the time to label this slide by a take. Here you put a code or a botanical name of the plant or you can use a number in your diary. The third step is to study the prepared slide under light microscope. Here you see this is the Meiji light microscope uh, which is uh, which contains the lenses of 10x, 40x and 100x. You put a slide on the stage to study the different parameters of the pollen. This is the a key that is used to study the pollen that is to determine the qualitative and quantitative characters of the pollens. The qualitative character includes the uh, name of the plant, the type of the pollen, shape in polar view, shape in equatorial view, the presence of culpi and suculturing that is the general surface of the pollen. While the quantitative characters that includes the number of characters that is the polar diameter, equatorial diameter, PE ratio, number of the culpi, width of the culpi, number of the pores, number of the uh, uh, spines, length and so many other quantitative characters. So this is the key that is used to describe the pollen under light microscope study. After this, you have to generate both qualitative and quantitative data on pollen. The fourth step for the pollen study is to make the photography. Here you see that the laptop is connected with Meiji light microscope. This is a CCD camera fitted on a Meiji Techno microscope that is made in Japan. So this is a unique microscope that is used to study the pollen that is connected with a laptop to catch the micro photograph. Here you see that is a laptop connected with this light microscope. So now the micro photographs are taken at different uh, lengths that is a 40x, uh, 20x, 10x and 100x. The screen of the laptop uh, shows a diversity of the pollens that we collect in the field that is Centuria iberica which belongs to family Compasti. The pollens are tricalpurate and they have a well presented spines on the pollen surface that is called as echinate pollens. So the pollen is studied by characterizing the uh, surface that is using the different characters either it is a spine pollen that is called as echinate pollens or either without pollen that is called as silate pollens. So there are different characters that are used to study different parameters of the pollen. Uh, it is the pollen of Centuria iberica that is under 40x and here you see that is on the screen of laptop you see the micro photograph. So this is a equatorial view while this is a polar view. 
Why we study the pollen? Because the pollen are important features that are used to identify the plants which are difficult to identify on morphology. Then we use the microscopic characters of the pollen to differentiate the closely related species in different genera, family, orders. Study of pollen has a wider application. The pollenology is used to explore the petroleum. Pollenology is used to explore the honey bee, that is the quality of the honey, that is meliso pollenology, geo pollenology, forensic pollenology, to study the criminal sciences by using the pollens. Pollens are the natural fingerprints of the plants. You can identify these fingerprints by using the pollen science.